So no matter your religion or maybe even if you don't have one, I'm pretty sure that most of you have heard that Jesus can walk on water, right? Well, what if I told you that I found an insect that can do the exact same thing? But like, how does it even walk on water to begin with? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello! So, wherever there's fresh water around in Singapore, you can most probably find this amazing critter called the Pond Skater. Or some people call it Water Striders or even Jesus Bucks. And clearly, as you can see, it's because these fellas can walk on water. So as you may already know, most insects get trapped or they struggle whenever they fall into a sizable amount of water. And so whenever there's water, you'll have plants, and whenever you have plants, you'll have insects. And so in reality, just based on likelihood, a lot of insects and critters actually do fall into streams and ponds. And so, thanks to evolution, these pond skaters have adapted to walking or skating on the water surface. But they have adapted this not to just only prevent it from drowning. Uh, because, you know, remember when I say all the other insects, when they fall into the water and they struggle and drown? Well, that's what pond skaters feed on. So this includes your caterpillars or your dragonflies and even arachnids like the spider that you saw just now. But more importantly, pond skaters will eat mosquito larvae. <laughs> and also all the other aquatic insect larvae that's inside the water. So basically anything that they can get their legs onto. Okay, but what makes them so special that they can walk or even skate on the water surface to begin with? Well, it really is a mixture of things, but the first is their very obvious long legs. So if you look at the four long ones, they actually help to spread its body weight evenly to a much larger surface area. And because of surface tension on the water, there's more to push up against when you have a wider area. And this, of course, helps with buoyancy. But it's not just only about surface area because their legs are actually covered in super hydrophobic hairs called microcetae. Now, these hairs are actually all over their body too and as the word hydrophobic suggests, these hairs don't like and will actually repel water. And the microcytae hairs have this property because of two things, right? The first is because the hairs are actually covered in cuticle wax and as we all know, wax is one of the most hydrophobic substances in nature. And if you've seen candle wax in water, they will float. And secondly, we have to look at the microcytae hair's structure, right? Because with each strand, they actually have a lot of nano grooves on it that would trap air, which basically coats the entire leg with air. And again, just as we've all seen with bubbles, air will float on water. And so, when you combine everything together, you get this miracle insect and they really spend their whole life on or around water and they do everything on it, right? From cleaning themselves to even mating. And so, you know, humans really love to mimic nature and our inventions, right? It's called biomimicry or biomimetics and we've actually done a lot of that over the course of history. And after some digging, scientists have obviously tried to mimic the pond skaters or water striders. And they have actually tried to develop a robot that can jump on water and, of course, while still staying afloat. But then we have to think about the practicality of it, right? Because how else will this develop? Like, who knows, right? If you think about it, global warming. And with global warming, sea levels are rising. And when sea levels are rising, Will there come a time where we need to copy the pond skaters and learn how to walk on water ourselves? Who knows? The world is a dark and scary place. But in the meantime, I'm really thankful that we don't have to go there yet. 
and that we can just be fascinated whenever we go near a pond or a stream and we can see such legitimately miraculous creatures just skating and striding all around us. And this marks the end of today's episode. But before we go, we'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spotman, you know, no, 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 England, HR Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nana, Nasi Lemak, Jelly, Jets, Kappa 885, Pingu Master, Jabrock, Tango, Amal, Delo, Neko Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kiong, Fauzi, Willano, Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacy, Lul, Quack Quack, Bama, and Momo, youtube.com slash at additional math and pixel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a miraculous jungle out there with miraculous insects that can walk on water and uh, you know what, I'm gonna try now. Okay, bye-bye.